When it comes to earthing, many places there are still practice of using a GI pipe and putting salt and charcoal. This is a wrong method we have been following all these time. Whenever you use a GI pipe and a salt and charcoal, remember the salt and charcoal should not be provided along with the electrode in the same pit. The electrode should be separate and salt and charcoal should be provided on a trench around the electrode and it is to be provided. The salt and charcoal should not be provided along with the electrode because the electrolyte of the salt and charcoal is sufficient for the electrode to activate and if you put the salt and charcoal directly to the electrode, it will automatically eat away the electrode. So the efficiency of the earth resistance will be totally affected. So there are different methods of earthing which is practiced and the best method if you want to really get the better resistance, the only best method is nothing but your deep driven electrode method. If your res resistance is important, then you have to drive the electrode deeply. But if your step and touch potential is important, then the design of earthing should be more of horizontal earth electrodes like plate electrode or a mesh electrode. Now, whenever we do a design of earthing, very importantly, the purpose of system should be understood, whether we are proving, providing it for a plant or we are providing it for a lightning protection conductor. So that is very important. Then design life of system is important. How many years the system has to function based on this, the selection of material will happen and then soil resistivity at that location is important and then corrosive nature of the soil is important because the corrosive nature of the soil will help you in determining material that you need to provide for earthing and then very importantly shape and available area because many time when we design we only design with autocad diagram drawing and we will not be having a clear picture of what will be there at the site so a practical study of site is also important because with auto you can design 100 number of your thing but practically there may not be that much sufficient space so due to this you will not be able to implement the earthing so that is also an important factor so when you use the earthing electrode there are minimum dimensions and configurations recommended which i will tell you it has to adhere to the requirement of iec 62562561 part 2 for earth electrode and 62561 part 7 for earth enhancement compound now, the basic requirement of earth electrode is electrical resistivity test, tensile test, vent test, adhesion test, coating thickness test, humidity and salt mist test. If the electrode is passing all the tests, then the electrode is safe for using in the environment. Secondly, when it comes to compound, very importantly, the compound, any compound can be used provided if they have passed the resistivity test, sulfur determination test toxicity characteristic leaching property test and corrosion test. Any one of this is not properly done or if the electric compound is not sufficient to take the testing, then it is unfit to be provided in the earthing system. So this is the best crux we can give on design aspect of lightning protection system.